It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am Lepica, and we have breaking Vikings news. George Iloka is back. Hell yeah, it's time to dust off your 23 jerseys, take them out of the closet, and see if they still fit because George is back in town. Uh, the Vikings have made it official. I know we kind of previewed this earlier in the week. Um, there was some rumblings that the Vikings had him in and were close to signing him, but he is officially signed to the practice squad. Um, yeah, uh, you know, you got a seven-year vet signed to the practice squad, but again, with the rules this year where you can call up a guy on Saturday to, to, to your active roster from the practice squad, uh, it makes a lot of sense. This move gives the Vikings that veteran backup that they've needed at uh, at the safety position. So if it just gives them insurance. If, if Harrison Smith or Anthony Harris get hurt, uh, Aluka is is there to uh, come in and provide some veteran uh, depth there. Uh, he can come in fairly quickly and pick up the defense again. Uh, he's going to have to get familiar with the terms, different coverages, and any new schemes or whatever to, to Zimmer's plan. But it shouldn't take the old vet to um, – to uh, pick things up again, really. So let's just look back. You know, uh, Aloka was here back in 2018. Uh, he played in 16 games. He started three of those. He had 16 total tackles and two forced fumbles. Scratch that. He had one forced fumble. So uh, Aloka didn't exactly set the world on fire. But again, uh, this move makes total sense from just from a depth standpoint, uh, from an insurance standpoint. Having him there just to uh, be extra insurance for an injury to the starter. So, um, you know, I was a little surprised that Aloka was willing to come back. I know he's, you know, t- probably desperate to get his feet back into an NFL team, back on the field again. Um, but when he was here, he made it pretty clear he was frustrated with his role on this team um, and just how he was used or the lack thereof. So um, whatever, him and Zimmer must have made amends. Uh, maybe they're back being best buddies again, having some Bud Lights together. I don't know, but... Uh, Georgia Loca is back, and uh, yeah, for one, it's not a um, you know a world-changing move, but it's definitely one that that makes a lot of sense. And I think I can speak safely for one bar when we say bringing Georgia Loca back gets the one bar in Lepagus two thumbs up, seal of approval. Um, so yeah, I don't, I doubt we'll see him this week. Probably won't see this guy active till week three. Um, and again, he'll be a special teamer. He'll be a backup guy, but at least we have a little bit of experience now uh, at the safety position uh, behind the starters. So uh, that's all we got. We'll be back uh, later this week. We're going to have our official uh, Vikings Colts preview and then obviously the prediction video. So be sure to come back and check those out. Uh, but until then, guys, always be sure to keep your skull in your hole. <laughs>